Lesson 2.2, Least Common Multiple. A multiple is the product of any number and non-zero whole number. A multiple of 5 is 10 because 5 times 2 is equal to 10 and 2 is a non-zero whole number. For multiples of 5, we have 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Notice it's the products for the multiplication facts for the fives. The multiples of 5 are the answers to multiplying non-zero whole numbers by 5. Notice there's no zero. It's non-zero whole numbers. Multiple means many, so think many fives. If I said I had multiple hobbies, that means I have many hobbies. So multiples of 5 would be many fives. The least common multiple, LCM, of two or more numbers is the least number other than zero that is a multiple of all the numbers. We can list the multiples of four. We think four times one is four, four times two is eight, four times three is 12, four times four is 16, and we keep going. For the multiples of six, we think six times one is six, Six times two is 12, six times three is 18, six times four is 24, and we keep going. And we can list the multiples of four and six in order from least to greatest. We identify the multiples they have in common. They have 12 in common, 24 in common, 36 in common. We identify the least multiple they have in common as the LCM, the least common multiple. So the least common multi multiple, the LCM for 4 and 6, is 12. And we can find other common multiples if we made the list longer, but the least one is 12. Multiplying the two numbers will give us a common multiple, but it might not be the least common multiple. So. For 4 and 7, yes, it will work, multiplying them together. For the multiples of 4, we list them all. We list all the multiples of 7. And see, they have 28 in common. It's the least common multiple. And if we multiply 4 times 7, it is equal to 28. So its LCM is 28. It worked, multiplying them. If the two numbers have no common factor greater than 1, we can multiply them to find their LCM. 4 and 7 don't have a common factor. Now, it will not work for 4 and 6, so that's a no. We list the multiples of 4. We list the multiples of 6. If we try multiplying them, 4 times 6 is equal to 24. But when we make the list, we see the least common multiple is 12. It's 12, not 24. And 4 and 6 have 2 as a common factor greater than 1. Multiplying them won't find their LCM. It worked for 4 and 7 because they don't have a common factor greater than 1. It didn't work for 4 and 6 because they do have a common factor greater than 1. They have 2 because 2 times 2 is 4 and 2 times 3 is 6. So they have 2 as a common factor. Here we have a 100 chart. We need to find the least common multiple of 8 and 12. So we can use a 100 chart, and we can identify every 8th number and every 12th number. We can put an orange dot on the multiples of 8, and we can put a green dot on the multiples of 12. The number squares that have two dots are common multiples. So we start by counting 8 squares. That would put us at 8. We count 8 more. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5, 6, 7, 8. That's a 6, puts us on the square 16. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And it would be the 8 facts. So the next number would be 8 more. 8 times 3 is 24. 8 times 4 is 32. 8 times 5 is 40. 8 times 6 is 48. 8 times 7 is 56. 8 times 8 is 64, 8 times 9 is 72, 8 times 10 is 80, 8 times 11 is 88, and 8 times 12 is 96. Now we can do it for 12s. Do you know your 12 facts? The 
first one's going to be on the 12 itself. The next one is going to be 12 times 2, which is 24. 12 times 3, which is 36. 12 times 4, which is 48. 12 times 5, which is 60. 12 times 6, which is 72. 12 times 7, which is 84. And 12 times 8, which is 96. And our chart doesn't go any further, so we can't go any further with the 12s. Now what we can do is identify the number squares that have two dots that are common multiples. We have 24, we have 48, we have 72, and we have 96. These have two dots, so these are the common multiples for 8 and 12, but the least, the lowest number on the chart with two dots is the least common multiple, so the LCM for 8 and 12 is 24. We used a 100 chart and two different colors to help us. And we can find the LCM of three numbers. We need to find the LCM of 4, 5, and 10. We can stop when we find the first common multiple. The first common multiple will be the least common multiple. So we can do 4 times 1 is 4, 5 times 1 is 5, 10 times 1 is 10, then we can do times 2, 4 times 2 is 8, 5 times 2 is 10, 10 times 2 is 20, we can do the times 3's, 4 times 3 is 12, 5 times 3 is 15, 10 times 3 is 30, 4 times 4 is 16, 5 times 4 is 20, 10 times 4 is 40, we got the times 4's. Now we can do the times 5's. 4 times 5 is 20. 5 times 5 is 25. Uh-oh, wait a minute, look. We can stop. I didn't even need to do that one. I see a 20, a 20, and a 20. We don't need to list any more multiples. We already found that all three can meet at 20, which means the LCM for 4, 5, and 10 is 20. We stop when we find the first common multiple. That will be the least common multiple. We need to be careful. Don't confuse GCF with LCM. Don't confuse greatest common factor with least common multiple. That says greatest. That says least. The factors of 8 are 1, 2, 4, and 8. 1 times 8, 2 times 4. The factors of 12 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. 1 times 12 is 12. 2 times 6 is 12. 3 times 4 is 12. Their greatest common factor, though they have 1 and 2 in common, is 4. So the GCF is 4. But if we look for the least common multiple for 8 and 12, we write the 8 facts and the 12 facts, and we find the multiple that is the least, that's 24. So, the GCF for these two numbers is 4, but the LCM for these two numbers is 24. Be very careful not to confuse these. So now we've completed this lesson, we're going to move on to Chapter 3, 3.1a, and learn about division as a fraction. And 3.1 is split into two parts, so you need to watch both. So just remember the word multiple means many. So think many 5s or many 8s or many 12s. And please hit that like button so I know if you understood the lesson or not. And as always, I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you next time. Bye.